Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you tonight to read to you comments left by fans of the Beatles for their new music video for the new Beatles song, Now and Then. Thanks, Beatles. You saved the humanity before we're here again. Doesn't get much better than that. I couldn't have said it better. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? I wanted to read some of these comments here from people around the world who um, were very moved by this new music video for Now and Then, or Then and Now, or whatever the hell you want to call it. This first comment is extremely moving. It reads, and keep in mind that this, this is the first comment on the page, and they have 4.14 million subscribers. This video made me hurt so much inside and let my tears out. Thank you, Beatles, for every song you ever made. It helped me so much in my life. John Lennon writes a worldwide hit 43 years after he was stolen from all of us. With a little help from his friends, and sparks an umpteenth wave of Beatlemania in 2023. Is this true? Am I dreaming? I love this. I grew up hearing them all my life. They are the soundtrack in my life. I am so thankful to God for having existed at the same time as their music. I'm glad God existed at the same time as their music, too. Huh. I think they needed him around, don't you? Even though John denounced God. Now let's go to the next one here. In the darkest times, when music is being kidnapped by pseudo-artists, this piece of art, made by the hand of the greatest musicians known in the latest years, give to all of us a little blaze of hope. Thanks, Beatles. You saved the humanity before we're here again doesn't get much better than that. I couldn't have said it better. This person says, I'm tearing up and covered in goosebumps. <laughs> I'm, I'm covered in goosebumps too, but it's because something is going on beneath the desk. Only kidding, folks. Nothing down there but wires. Seeing the empty Beatles stage broke me. My God, John, Paul, George, Ringo. You broke this woman. You broke her. Or man, whatever. Whatever they happen to be. You broke this woman. This man. Oh, could you do this? To this them. person writes, As always, the Beatles shook me to my core. They've been my friends since I was a little kid. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for letting them help raise me. Not really the best choice, kids. <laughs> I know why my parents let the Beatles help raise me, because they were both half in the bag and laying on the living room floor going, Hey, don't worry about dinner. Go listen to your Beatle records. We'll be fine. We'll eat tomorrow. Don't worry. Go ahead. You know. So I can only imagine what your parents were doing. In these times, we needed a new Beatles song. It's true. Israel's attacking Hamas. Hamas attacking Israel. Nasty, wasty bugs infecting all of us. Crazy serums they're pumping into our veins. People dying left and right. Earthquakes, fire, famine. The world is falling apart, and that's all we need is a new Beatles song. That, that brings it all together. They are truly timeless. And it blows my mind that four talented people all happened to meet and make some of the most beautiful music the world will ever know. 
you know, what I think this person is really kind of in the back of their mind, they're kind of like questioning the official story because it blows their mind that four talented people just all happen to get together. You, you really think just four guys happen to stumble into each other in Liverpool and within a year and a half became the world's biggest band ever in history? You, just by chance. Okay. If you believe that, I've got some swampland for you in downtown Phoenix, complete with alligators and gold doubloons buried in the mud. (laughs) For a good price, I guarantee it. A great price, I'm telling you right now. This person writes, There's no mistake. Every chord, every vocal, every instrument... And every sound heard throughout this entire music has the same Beatles signature, exactly like their music did over 50 years ago. You could even have said, this was recorded along with songs like I'm Only Sleeping or Eleanor Rigby on the Revolver album in 1966 instead of 2023. And I would be, it would be very much believable. I'm only sleeping. What a masterpiece of a song. What a great song to compare it to. It's such a masterpiece. (laughs) This recording is an absolute astonishing masterpiece. Oh, bravissimo. I couldn't have said it better. The brilliance of that statement. Just, oh. Well, let's see here. This person says, I teared up on the first now and then. I miss you. And it cut to George and John on stage. I cried, seeing Paul watching John conduct the orchestra and the emotion on his face. I bawled when they disappeared after the bow and the Beatles sign went out. Amazing video and song. Come Together was number one on the day I was born. And 54 years later, I get to... Dot, dot, dot. They didn't finish the comment. Uh, They must have dropped dead right there on the spot. 54 years later, I get to... You know, what what did you do 54 years later? Tell me, please. (laughs) I don't know if I... I didn't go on much more. I'm, I'm awfully choked up. I'm sorry. This is hard for me. These people are so moved by such a wonderful song. It says the power of the Beatles. It talks about the power of the Beatles. Oh my God, what more can you say? This person says, Let's take a bow for giving the Beatles what they needed. An audience to listen to and love them. We always return to them, and it's true. It's all because of us that they are who they are. <laughs> you know, they can't say it much better, can they? <laughs> you know, I need a drink, man. <laughs> they want us to be there for them, and they miss us, man. Can you believe that? This guy's got it. He figured it out. The Beatles miss us, man. Ringo and Paul are sitting back right now with it count their money, you know, and they're like laughing all the way at the bank as we cry our eyes out, you know, and they're like, you know, I miss them. I miss Pete, that guy with a crazy alien hat in his living room. I miss that guy over in New Jersey and that kid over in Birmingham. And I just, you know, oh man, they must be just crying their eyes out every night. Because they miss us so much. Those live concerts where they couldn't hear themselves sing or play. And people tearing their hair out and throwing things at them. All the hookers and the whores and the drugs. Oh, oh! I think they miss the hookers, the whores, and the drugs. Those probably have never gone away. Peace and love. No no offense, men, Ringo. Ah, oh, so, so moving. Let's continue, shall we? I was five in 1964, and the Beatles shaped everything about my fun music, and later helped me woo 
girlfriends, and eventually my wife of 43 years. Hun, that's 42 years too many. Get out now while you still can. Now I'm 64 and a Beatles birthday. Though I did and still do like classical music and big band, these guys were like older cousins that did things you wanted to emulate. As I grew up, they were almost distant family. We laughed and cried with them. Oh, like no other band ever. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I laughed and cried. I, I, uh, I just laughed and cried with Ringo. Ringo came over. He's like, hey, Pete, you want to laugh and cry with me? You know, we'll do some drumming. You get on the guitar. I laugh and cry with John all the time. I just had a laugh and a good laugh and a cry with uh, Ray Davies of the Kinks, but he's only available on Tuesdays and Thursdays on uh, every other leap year. Uh, these people are so moved. It's so poignant, so eloquent, so well said. This person writes, When I saw the final shot of them taking their bows and disappearing, leaving only their name in bright lights, I couldn't help but say in a teary-eyed way, Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. Oh, that one got me, man. Oh, oh this guy, he's in his living room, you know, and he's got an imaginary audience around him. You know, he's Ed Sullivan. He becomes Ed Sullivan. And he does this brilliant thing, this genius thing of introducing the Beatles at the end of their act. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Beatles. Oh, it's so touching. <laughs> oh, please help me. Please. I don't know if I can keep going on. It's, it's hard. It's hard with such poignant, eloquent, well thought out words. I, this guy's just like me. He can't stop crying, right? He says he, she, I don't know if it's a guy or he or she or it or a transgender or whatever. I can't stop crying. I turned 70 this week. Well, of course, that's why he's crying. I turned 58 a few weeks ago. It's painful, man. When you turn 70, I can't imagine how horrifying and awful that is. I am still crying about turning 58. The Beatles were central to my youth. All my family has passed away. I wish I could share this with them. A new form of sharing is in the comments here, though. That's I, I share I share thoughts and feelings with my parent my parents all the time on my YouTube channel. They've been dead for 30, 31 and like thirty five years, and I talk to them all the time on YouTube in the comment section. Piece of cake. They've made they're doing fine. They're on the other side. They made it to the glory land. I'm just happy to hear from them. They can share my expressions about the Beatles with them. That's just, I'm sure that's what they've been sent around in eternity waiting to hear from me about the Beatles. Many voices, generations, and languages are represented coming together to appreciate this remarkable accomplishment. Thank you, Beatles. And thank you, Beatles fans. Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I'm touched. I moved. Uh, what more can I say? It's been said. It's been said right there in all those comments about that song, Now and Then, the finale of the Beatles, the, the last Beatles song that we will ever hear them put out. And I leave you with this, my friends. Um, these are hard times for each of us. It's a hard world out there. It's a rough world. There's inflation. Lack of jobs, there's war, there's death, there's famine, disease. But in the end, we have the Beatles. You know, we have the Beatles. And that's all we need. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for these words, these fine people by the Beatles. As we cry our eyes out, as we sob with goosebumps running up and down our spine, they're laughing all the way to the bank as they charge us $30 for a 12-inch vinyl colored CD and re-releases of the Red and Blue album. 
what more could we ask for in a world that's falling apart just to be gouged by two guys that are still alive and two that are dead and but they're geniuses then I bid you adieu my friends yeah 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 I'll be thinking of each and every one of you every now and then good night